How's everyone this morning so far? Good, good, good. I'm glad that you're here. My name is Dr. Joseph Arve. If this is the first time meeting you, welcome and welcome and welcome. Um, we've been in this facility here for almost 27 years. November will be 27 years. And so we've been here a long time helping lots of people with various things. So welcome all 10 million Facebook listeners. That's the Facebook camera right there. So um, if you ever have any questions about anything, just message us and we'll take care of your needs there. But I'm excited you're here. So today's topic is hemp. Everybody say hemp. hemp. Now, some of you probably know a whole lot more about hemp who grew up in the 60s more than I do, okay? <laughs> Matter of fact, when you were sipping some of the chai tea hemp, you're like, oh, this brings back some good memories. <laughs> Uh, memories that I don't have because my parents are sitting here, so I'm not going to spill the beans on anything. Um, matter of fact, the last time I probably was in a room full of hemp um, was an uh, Aerosmith concert back in 1984 or 5 or something like that, okay? So don't worry about all that stuff, okay? So um, you're going to learn a lot about what we do here and why we do it and why I'm kind of, I wouldn't say forced, but, but why we have to look at hemp and CBD and see what it's all about to see whether it's for you or not for you. Is it just a fad? Is it just a buzzword? Or is it really something it can do for you to help unlock, keyword, unlock healing in, inside your body? All right? And I'll explain more as we go along. Um, the way I like to teach these is I like to build up so that you understand what in the world I'm talking about, so that it makes sense and then it fits into your puzzle until it fits into how you view your life, okay? And so, uh, yes, so this is me. If any time you want to meet with me or schedule an appointment with me, you can do that at the end of the, of the talk tonight. Um, uh, and so this is how you can get a hold of me. At any time, if you see a really cool slide and you like it, just make sure your phone is silenced, but just take your camera out and take a picture of the, um, uh, the slide. And you want me to post for it and smile, I will, but that's okay. But this is, this is where you can call the office. This is our, uh, our website, Spine Geek. This is our email address. Right now we're videotaping on um, our Facebook page called Spine Geek. And then later, Scott will have this posted sometime hopefully next week, and it'll be on the Spine Geek YouTube channel. With, uh, with probably, I don't, I don't want to exaggerate and say over a hundred of, um, of our videos, but a lot, okay? So, I want to say thank you again for Mrs. Arve for putting up with all this and putting up with me. Uh, Diana Davis is here from Young Living Oils. I'll get to that in just a minute. But thank you, Grant, Luke, Heather, and Jesse for setting up our awesome helpers, Scott. And thank you for all of you for coming. Give yourself a hand for being here. Okay, very good. So this is my lovely wife. If any of you have any questions about non-toxic hair, skin, suntan lotion, stuff like that, Eileen, raise your hand. She's the one to talk to about that. Um, we're going to talk about how you do not want to put toxins inside your body. That can make you be brown grass. Everybody say brown grass. Brown grass. Perfect, okay? And you don't want that. And so if you have any questions about that, especially ladies, I mean, I use the product on my hair, okay? It grew in it real long. At 53 years old, I'm proud that I have a man bun. It's not a ponytail. It's a man bun. It's a difference, okay? <laughs> and then we have Diana here. We're going to talk about the power of essential oils and how essential oils, you know how... Here's the best way to explain You all saw my army truck out there at Big Joe that my father gave me. Well, before I start Big Joe, <clears throat> I have to take a can of ether and give a little squirt, okay? And when I do that, boy, Big Joe loves it and just fires up real quick, right? That's kind of what, when you add essential oils to your cooking or to your, your nutritional products and things that you do, it's kind of like giving it a shot of ether to where your body can uh, take it, absorb it, even better and utilize it so that you can become green grass. Everybody say green grass. green grass. Because that matters as well too. So that's kind of how where this fits in. And I'll explain more as I build this as we go, okay? And so we have a, so let's see. Okay. Um, is, is it anybody's birthday today? Is it anybody's birthday this weekend? It was last weekend. It was last weekend? Sorry, we're going forward. Anybody's birthday in June? This month, okay. So what day is your birthday on? 18th. 18th. When's yours? 
28th. Oh, sorry. You win. All right. So now what did you win? These are really cool dryer balls. So yeah, you're like, what the heck? OK. So again, we're all about being non-toxic. We can help it. So instead of using the old dryer sheets and all this stuff like that, you take these dryer balls. Forget, I'm out of the limb here because I don't use these very much at home. I'm just confessing. Um, and you, put some, you can put some purification in the water as you're washing your clothes, or you can put purification on the balls. And as you put them in the dryer, um, you kind of got a cool beat. And then uh, and your clothes come out feeling fresh. And you're, like, if you're like me, your stinky uh, workout t-shirts and shorts aren't stinky anymore. So there you go. Happy birthday to you. There you are. Amen. Give me a hand. I'm just glad I remember to give away. You don't know how many times we've had door prizes, and I just got started, and I, I'm like, I forgot to give away the door prizes. <laughs> so I wanted to get that done and out of the way right away. Okay. S Sandy, you're in charge of my clicker. Okay, here we go. So we'll talk about that. And again, like I said, uh, Spine Geek Nation is, is what we're up to. Um, if you go to our Spine Geek page on YouTube or Facebook or you just Google Spine Geek, you'll see everything that we've been doing for the last 27 years. Um, what I do works and, and has worked for many people around the world. I've taught in Zimbabwe back in 2008 and 2009 and 10 uh, with Pastor Duchelle way back when. Um, uh, I've been to two Olympics helping athletes become green grass. You understand what that means in a minute. So they can go win gold medals. So what, you, what you're seeing here is just not another office or another kind of do it, this, this is a special place. This is a special place. Um, and again, God's still in the healing business, believe it or not. He's still in the healing business. And literally for 27 years almost, we get to see miracles served here daily. Now, there's a specific reason why we see miracles happen on a daily basis. It's not that, it, it's how I have learned, how we have learned to apply health and healing to your body. Um, we honor how God made your body. We, we lots of times ask your body, and this sounds weird, what do you want today? What kind of adjustment do you want? Do you want nutrition or not nutrition? Are you allergic to anything? We honor how God made your body, and the answers are pretty clear, and the results are, are pretty uh, spectacular as far as how we see healing miracles. But there's a specific and a scientific way of what I do my chiropractic. We do our nutrition. We do our detoxing. We do our exercising. Everything that do, we do to get this body of yours to actually to work the way it's supposed to. So many people are frustrated because they've learned uh, that nutrition is the same as taking medicine. I have a headache. I can take an Advil. I have a headache. I can take valerian root. I have high blood pressure. I can take a blood pressure pill. I have high blood pressure. I've heard turmeric. I've heard turmeric is good for that. And so we try to use nutrition, exercise, chiropractic, medicine to treat a symptom, to try to kill a symptom and get rid of it. And as long as we take that, whatever it is, then the symptom may go away. Or it may come back even worse. Or you may even have now to take more different things, i.e. one prescription, two prescription, three prescription, one vitamin, two vitamin, three vitamin. I mean, you got your whole baggie full of vitamins, right? And you really, I'm like, well, are you any healthier? Well, no. Are you any happier? No. How's your future? It seems like I have more and more doctor's visits. I'm on more and more prescriptions. And I really don't like where I'm going. That's kind of how healthcare is today out there. That's not how it is in here. And if you've been a member of our practice and you're a patient, you know what I'm talking about. And so there is a mean to my madness. There's a reason why I do everything. It may seem weird because you may not see it anywhere out there. And like I was telling Luke and, and our family, I don't, I don't want to, I'm not bragging, but I don't know anyone else in the world right now that's making these sandwiches the way I am for you. The way we stack the meat, put the cheese, put the... There's, uh, the way I stack this is what gives us our miracles. Because it honors, um, A, what the Bible says. It honors ancient wisdom. It honors what clean science actually says. And, it, and, it, and it, 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 we use what cultures, ha, cultures have been saying for thousands of years. It's, it's, is it rocket science? No, it's very simple. But we've made getting healthy and being healthy and living strong too complicated. Does that make sense? Okay. And so never forget, first thing you got to understand about when you wake up every morning, 
The earth is a war zone. Okay? The earth is a war zone. Question everything. Everything you see on Facebook, everything you see on YouTube, everything you see on TV, everything you see in church, everything you see uh, your friends, everything you see everywhere you read, question everything. And you have to understand, is this in line with truth? Is this in line with your personal health philosophy? Is this in line with how it really works? Or does this really sound too good to be true? Because you have to understand, there's a verse in the Bible, John 10, 10, it says the devil is coming to steal and to kill and destroy your life. You. But the good news is that Jesus has come to give life and life abundantly. This is not a religious lesson. This is a fact of life. That, that, that every day when you wake up, there's things out there that want to sabotage your day. That want to put you in a bad mood, right? That want to take away your joy. That there's people, when they get in their car, they're going to drive really bad in front of you and cut you off just to ruin your day on purpose. I swear that's what they do, right? They meant to do that, right? And, and if you're not aware of that, then you can get blindsided and go, what happened? And, and so you have to understand, oh, I live in a war zone. The, the, the more you realize that, the more life doesn't surprise you anymore, okay? What do you expect? You know, we live in a war zone. The people are people, right? The world would be perfect if it wasn't for people, okay? And, and none of them are in this room right now. It's the ones out there, right? Okay? And so it is. So that's when I try to start stacking this thing about why hemp and stuff like that, you got to understand if you want to stop uh, from just being crazy or being really disappointed in life, understand, well, I, 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 the earth is a war zone. The Bible says that the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But don't worry. God, Jesus, has come to give us life. And life, what? Abundantly. Abundantly. Everybody say green grass again. Green grass. So, so there's a means to this madness. This is the promise. This is not a really good suggestion. This is the promise. That, that, that everything that I, we base our 30 years of marriage, raising four children, the last one just got out of high school, praise God, on. And so what I'm going to ask you, and hopefully in a book coming out soon, um, what is your personal health philosophy? What is your bias? If I can help you develop a personal health philosophy and you know and you own it, like your faith, you own it, then you can defend why you think what you think. You can explain why you think what you think. You can live in a way that's in alignment with that. And in time, it should deliver the results that you desire for your life, right? Well, I'm too busy to work out. All right, that's your bias. That's your personal health philosophy. But where's that going to take you? Well, I want to get in shape. Well, you're too busy to work out. Let's, just, let's stop the incongruency right now. So as you're building your personal health philosophy, what are you going to base it? Because here's the thing. I'm not here really to tell you to do anything. I'm not here to talk you into anything. Because if I can talk you into something maybe the next five or ten minutes to go ahead and buy my products or whatever, or become a patient, guess what? Somebody can talk you out of it. When it comes to what I do and my family does for health, it's based on our personal health philosophy. It's not based on someone can talk me into or talk me out of. So when I start looking at hemp for a long time, um, I won't get, I, long story short, our oldest daughter had a fall when she was eight months old. From that fall, she tore ligaments in her neck and she damaged her brain. We didn't know this because she looked fine. Fine's a bad word in this office because fine doesn't tell me how healthy you really are. You can be brown grass and dead grass and feel fine, right? So because of that, she started developing seizures, petite mal seizures at age 5, and then grand mal seizures at age 12, and from age 12 to age 17, uh, grand mal seizures and petite mal seizures. Now, praise God, the last... 10 years, we've only seen five seizures, okay? So what we're doing is working. The moment we found out about epilepsy and seizures, this, the hemp world, the CBD world said, oh, well, this is great for seizures. This is great. You should start using this. You should start using this. So I've been, you know, I have a gerbil up here, and it runs, and it runs, and it runs, and it runs, and it runs. This gerbil's been running on hemp, CBD, marijuana, whatever, because I have, I, listen, when it comes to your health and healing and your health future, that's my mission. You being happy, you being healthy, and not going into a nursing home, but you going into vacation and having a great quality of life, that's my mission for you. 
So for my daughter, there is no hope. There is no no. This well, but I've also learned: Will her body accept hemp or CBD? Will it even use it? Will it unlock the combination to help put us? Because listen, if doctors told me that taking half her brain out would stop the seizures, well, that's not a really good green grass option. Would it stop the seizures? Yes, but so would a shotgun, and I'm not about to use that either. Some of you are like, ready for the shotgun, you take whatever it takes. But my point is that there is a science and a specific reason, and there's methods to getting healthy. And I will look at everything that's out there. There's nothing, I'm like, well, you know, uh, that's just, I'm just not, I, I don't, I'm, I, there is, there is not, nothing that for my daughter or my family that I will say no to, but I will test it, I will measure it, I will see if, if they, they need it or not. See, with our nutrition, is the way we test you. It's called muscle testing, applied kinesiology. We simply ask your body, what do you want? Do you want it or not? I don't care what the label says. I don't care what your friends have taken. I don't care what the world's doing. If your body wants it and can use it, great. If it, if it, if it can't use it, right? Like, like if your body doesn't want this or this or anything else there, then I'm not going to sell it to you because it's going to have a toxic effect on you and it has a negative effect on you. There's things that they said, oh, this works great for seizures. We'd give it to her. It would trigger her seizure because it overstimulated her brain. Well, we had to know, we had to know how to know if, if okay, is this Skittle she's going to take and trigger a seizure or not trigger a seizure? Is there something in this food that's going to trigger a seizure or not trigger a seizure? Is there something in this medication that's going to trigger or not trigger? And so we learned, one of the things we learned is, is called muscle testing and make sure that we at least had some sanity to knowing that what our next hour of life's going to look like for our daughter based on what she eats or drinks right now. Does that make sense? So we, what we've done has been tested and proven for the last 30 years, literally, of raising children. And when we started sharing that with our family, sharing it with our patients, we started getting a consistent healing effect inside of bodies. But it all came out of crisis. It all came out of crisis. Um, uh, and so we've defeated a lot of things out there. Our life is not perfect. We live in a war zone, but we have successfully defeated cancers and heart disease and epilepsy and all the evil stuff out there that people are still uh, uh, carrying around out there. But yet, and here we see better solutions. We see improvement. We see healing from that. Does that make sense? So there is a means to our madness. Um, but because we have developed a personal health philosophy, to live in the war zone and yet continue to have an abundant life. Does that make sense? You can't change that you live in a war zone. But you've been promised abundant life. Now, how are you personally going to win that war on a daily basis? Does that make sense? All right, that's what I want you to, to learn. And is hemp going to be part of your arsenal to win that war for yourself? Okay, that's all I want to talk about today. Because some of you are getting emails every day, CBD, 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 right? And you're like, oh, I don't even know what there is to get or not to get, right? So, this is my family. <laughs> She's, this, that's our, that's our, our puppy, and that's Kai Kai, and that's our family, and that's Leah, the one we've been, that we had the seizures. And that's May May. She's right now in chiropractic college. That's Luke. He just graduated. It's Grant. They're here working. And this is my family. And again, my personal health philosophy is for them. And if it works for them and good enough for them, then I apply it for you too as well. Because you have to understand, there's three parts of you when I look at you. There's a spirit, there's a body, and there's a mind. In America, again... Um, and again, I'm not against surgeries and medication stuff. There's a time and place for everything, okay? But the problem is that when your body's broken, then you go to a body doctor. And they give you whatever they have for your body. And then when your mind's broken, you go to the mind doctor. And they give you whatever for your mind. Now, what if they give you what they give you for your mind is going to hurt the body? Well, no, we've got to fix your mind now. And if they give you what they give you for your body breaks your mind, well, that, they, they're, they're compartmentalized. They don't ever try to work together. And then on Sundays or Saturdays or whatever day, we go to fix our spirit. And the thing is, sometimes we, they, uh, nobody's holistically taking care of all three of you. That's what we try to do here. When you get adjusted, what do I do? I pray over you. Why? I need all the help I can get. Okay? And so do you, matter of fact. But, but we pray. And is it, is, it's, not, it's, it's about knowing who you are and how to get all of you working together in a way that creates green grass. Okay? That's really what, how our approach is. 
And if hemp has an, or CBD has an approach to that, great. Today's your day. If it doesn't, then that's one less thing. You check off your list and say, I'm not ready. For, I don't need that right now. Don't need it. I'm good. I don't need it. Maybe someday I might, but right now I don't. Okay? So everybody say three T's. Three T's. The three T's. We live in a war zone. Okay? What are the weapons that come against us? The first one is stinking thinking. Everybody say stinking thinking. Um, in my opinion, as I study this field of endocannabinoid systems, and in my doctoring, I could, I could take care of your trauma, I could help you detox, but boy, you just I couldn't convince you that the bear is not chasing you. That you wake up every morning, you feel like a grizzly bear is chasing you, and you just start running. And then you try to go to bed, you can't sleep because you can't stop your, shut your brain off. And I'm like, you're fine, I'll pray over you. Come on, you're a Christian, you shouldn't have to worry about this stuff. They're going to kick you out of church if you do, you know, all this stuff. That's a joke. Okay. But literally the best way to, you know, yes, you can beat yourself up with stinking thinking, but the best way to describe it is there's a bear chasing you. That every day you wake up, there's a bear chasing you, and you don't know how to stop from running. You don't know how to stop for a minute and just go, oh, there is no bear. Okay? So that's how stress can make you sick. That's how stress can cause cancer, heart disease, diabetes, Alzheimer's, uh, inflammation, pain, all your problems. And if I'm addressing the toxins with your spine, great. There's good effects there. If I'm, if I'm detoxing with nutrition, great. But I can't change this thinking in between this six and... And I'm, I'm just as guilty. I'm not, I point finger at you. I got four fingers pointing at me, right? And the whole thing about self-perception and stress and speaking death, not life over yourself, because power and life and death is in the tongue and how you, how you describe your life, all that's wrapped into the thinking part of the trauma that can attack you in the war zone every day. So what you think does matter. What you think does matter. I personally believe that the hemp or the CBD with its psychoactive, psychotropic properties, okay, helps maybe you for a moment realize the bear's gone. Which then now gives your body a chance to recover and heal. And I'll get more into that in a minute, but that's why I'm looking at this thing. Because I see lots of people, I'm like, there is no reason why you should not be better by now. Something is, something's wrong somewhere. Maybe now as we address the three T's, the trauma, the detoxing, now the stress part of your life, whether it's conscious or subconscious, you're right. <laughs> You know, whether you're consciously aware of it or subconsciously not aware of it, it's okay. It still can sabotage you. Okay? So, and again, these three T's are 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days of the year, 360 degrees of your life. If you move to London, they're there. If you move to Dubai, they're there. If you move to Alabama, they're there. The toxins are there. There's stress. There's always somebody that's going to want to help you put you in a bad mood. There's always a chance for you to trip and fall or hurt yourself. There's always ways to drink water out of the dog bowl. Okay? There's always opportunities for that. Okay? And again, in, in, our, in our healthcare culture, you have options of what to do because of the three T's. Right? You can have a better attitude. Yes, that's important. And we teach that. Right? You can... Oxygen your cells. We work out on Saturday mornings. I teach you how to exercise. That's important. <clears throat> you can eat clean. That's important too as far as your nutrition, right? None of this is like, well, duh. Well, you know that stuff, right? You can minimize poisons and pollutions in your body. You can detox. Yeah. You know, right? And, and you can take care of your brain, spine, and nerve system. But the majority of Americans, their personal health philosophy is to do what? It's to run to the medical circle whenever there's a problem. Because that's what your mother taught you. That's what your grandmother taught you. That's what her grandmother taught her. So whenever you have an ache or a pain or a sniffle or you're in a bad mood, well, that's a body or mind issue. We go to the doctor and all they are to, to give you to keep their jobs is what? A medication or a shot or a surgery. And there may be time for that but after a while, we have to ask ourselves, is that giving us what we want? Are we any happier? Are we any healthier? Is our life going towards more vacations and independent living? 
or is our life going towards nursing homes and assisted living? Okay, that's that's you have to answer that yourself. And if and if you are feeling like you're moving more towards nursing homes and assisted living, then is your health philosophy working out? Because that's not normal. It may be common, but it's not normal, and it doesn't have to happen. Repeat that. It doesn't have to happen, right? So what we've learned in America, based on our healthcare system and our insurance and everything else, it literally pays when we go for medical help. Okay? Everything else is okay, but we're using it the wrong way, so it doesn't deliver the results, so we end up here in the end. Oops, watch out. So I want to talk to you about your medical health philosophy absent of the medical circle only focus, because if you get healthy, then your need for this goes down. It goes away. Our patients who come here, their need for medication goes away if not, goes away if, goes down if not away at all. Their number of visits to a, to a pediatrician or to a medical doctor go down. And they're like, hey, where you been? We miss you. Well, I got healthy, I got better, right? So this is the drug-free America that we live in right now, right? So going to medical circle only help Statistically, when I look out there, this is what I see. Does anybody else see that at all? Okay. So age 0 to 4, amoxicillin. Age 4 to 12, Ritalin. 12 to 18, appetite suppressants. 18 to 24, no dose, right, because you're studying in college. Prozac from 24 to 38, because that's when you have your babies and your children. Xanax from 38 to 65. And after 65, the every 65-year-old in America is on 11 to 15 medications. Now, that is a personal health philosophy. That's an American health philosophy that you're living under right now. It's not necessarily true, the truth. It doesn't necessarily have to be that way. But if everyone of you, your friends, is living that way, then why should you do anything different? Okay? Okay? So, my personal health philosophies, what I do as a doctor is based on universal laws. Law of gravity, right? Mr. Luke, can I have a chair, please? Actually, I'm going to use this chair right here. Law of gravity. Let, let's, pretend, let's pretend that my personal health bias, okay, is that I don't believe in the law of gravity. I just don't believe. It's my choice. And I don't believe so much that I've even read books on trying to convince you not to believe in the law of gravity. And I, and I sold so many books that I made a lot of money that I could pass laws in the government that says you should not believe in the law of gravity either. And we've made laws that basically are against the law of gravity. Well, but here's the problem. Every time I try to test that theory that there is no law of gravity, guess what happens? The law of gravity wins. So my personal health philosophy wants to work with the law of gravity, not against the law of gravity. There's a lot of personal biases out there, personal beliefs, that really put, put profit over patient or people's safety. Okay? So there's a lot of things that are, just because it's making money doesn't mean it's good for you or it's going to give you a positive health outcome. Does that make sense? So I'm very, very um, careful about bringing in a new concept, CBD hemp, unless it's going to deliver the promise. Because there's a lot of people out there trying to convince you that the law of gravity doesn't exist. Just buy their product, just trust them, you'll be okay. And while they're making the money, your life blows up. And like, well, we did the best we could. And so I don't want that for you. And so that's how I, I explain that a lot of things I teach you is based on universal laws of how your body works, or how the law of gravity works. The other one's based on biblical principles. John 10.10, 10, I talked about that. Clean science. Clean science. There's enough science out there now about hemp, CBD, all that stuff, to where it's not necessarily funded by people who want to profit over people. They really want to help people, okay? And, 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 I, I, and I really didn't even want to look at any of that stuff so I didn't really know any companies, but until my two friends, uh, Jordan Rubin and Josh Axe, I mean, Josh Axe has been in this office many years ago when he was a chiropractic student. So they're and I'm not just saying, they're literally our friends of mine. If you call them and say, hey, do you know Jordan? They go, yeah, we like, hopefully they'd say they like me, yeah. 
But I just saw, uh, I just saw Josh in California. We were there, gave him a hug. It was like, you know, so, um, so we, we, he grew up into the chiropractic world the same way I did. I actually helped train him, and he, just, <laughs> he went off and just started a multi-million, billion-dollar company. I'm like, okay. I'm like, I missed that train. <laughs> I'm like, we talked about that. I'm like, oh, no, you go ahead. I'm going to go back to North Glen. And now look at him. So, and then ancient wisdom, you know, ancient wisdom. So this is what everything I teach you, or if something new comes along, hey, Dr. Joe, you should try this. I apply it to my personal health philosophy to see if it's going to hold water or not. Okay? Um, and so I may, not, I may be the new kid on the block with this stuff, but it fits into the old school things that I've been using for the last 30 years, if not longer, to bring health and healing to my own body, my own family. So therefore, it kind of checks out. Does that make sense? It checks out. Okay? Um, so again, here's the thing. Here's another promise. The word shalom. I say that word more than any other word uh, in the day because it's kind of like I'm into, I'm a man. Um, I only have a certain limited number of, of words I use each day. And so I like those words that have one word but millions of different meanings, right? So what you really, if you don't know what to pray or what to speak over yourself, just say shalom, which means in Hebrew, nothing broken, nothing missing, nothing lacking. And that's a promise that God has given each of you because you're made, you're made in his image. So if you look and you feel like there's something broken in your life or there's something lacking in your life or there's something missing in your life, guess what? Not supposed to be there. So if we're going to start changing the stresses and the thought process and the words we use, shalom is a great word. Pray that over your children, pray that over yourself, pray it over your dog. Just speak it because the word is life and you speak that. There's frequencies, all kinds of stuff, I won't get into it now, that go to work for you. Okay? So just start saying that word, you know, just give me three shaloms every day. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Okay, I did it. Great. But your brain's like, oh, what did they say? Okay, subconscious. Oh, what did they say? All right. We're gonna because again, your cells are listening to what you say. Your cells in your body are listening to what you think. And they will go, okay, they're in a bad mood. Let's start making bad mood stuff. Oh, now they're in a good mood. Let's start making endorphins, make them happy again. They're constantly listening to what you're thinking and what you're saying about yourself and to yourself. And they're just simply reacting to what you think and what you say about yourself. Okay? So shalom is another promise that when I look at my daughter and I see her having seizures, I'm like, no, 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 no. That's not supposed to be there. That has to go. When you're in pain, no, 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 no. Unless you're out, you know, you lift up a, you lift up a, 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 a railroad tie and you hurt your back. Well, guess what? That means you lift something too heavy. That's different, right? But if it's there, so any kind of sickness or disease, well, we live in a broken world. Mm, yes, but Shalom says nothing broken, nothing missing, nothing lacking. So what are we going to do? I like Shalom better. Yes, we live in a war zone. I got it. But John 10.10 10 says, I've overcome to give you an abundant life. So yes, the world's broken, but I've given you access to heaven on earth. Okay? So shalom is how you get there. All right? And again, again, I read it in the Bible again. It says, for you have formed my inward parts. That means God has. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you for I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 13 through 14. So, and this is where life happens. It happens in here, mommy and daddy get together, right? And when mommy and daddy get together, they make this thing called a seed at conception, which is a life, right? Okay? Now, here's the thing. As that seed grows, in nine months, something comes out. Not 15 months, praise God, right? <laughs> and not five months. In nine months. How does that baby, does the baby have a watch and go, okay, nine months, I'm out of here. Is it flipping the calendar? Like, wh what's up with that? Okay. So where does health come from? Right? So here's the thing. Let's play along. My patients know all the answers already. But let's say I take grass seed out of my pocket. And, I, and I'm at Jan's house and we're, we're making a garden, right? And I move away the dirt and I put a, the, the grass seed in the ground. Okay, we were, we're pretending now, okay? I cover the dirt up and then I take my garden hose and I begin to water the grass, right? Water the grass seed. There's no grass yet. Water the seed. What is that grass seed going to do if I water it enough? It's going to grow, right? Okay? Let him use that one. Tell me use that one. 
um, so the seed is going to grow. Okay. In time, what color will that grass be? Green. Green. So here's the first question. Why not blue? Why not red? Why not magenta? Or why not plaid? Why green? Chlorophyll. Chlorophyll, right? Who made it that way? God did. So how tall does the grass go? Why did, how, how tall does it know to grow? How tall does it not to grow? How does it know to turn green? How does it know when to grow? All these things I don't have to worry about. Why? Because the seed knows I don't have to. All I have to do is water the seed and not interfere with its process, and it will do what God made it to do. You've got to understand that. That's what makes the difference. In the acorn is the power of the oak tree. I don't have to know how and why that works. I put the acorn in the ground and I water it, and someday I get an oak tree, right? The power of all that stuff going on is in the seed. It's in the acorn. The, green, the power of the green grass is in the seed, okay? And it needs no help, just no interference. Now catch this now, okay? You guys watching, listening? Okay. As long as I water the grass, the seed knows to make the grass green. The seed does. If I kink the hose, what happens to the grass? It turns brown. Why does it turn brown? No water. The seed knows if I don't, you don't give me water, I'm going to shut you down. I'm going to shut you down. And I'm going to warn you in the process, I'll turn that green grass brown, but it's not... The, 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 the brown grass is a sign to give me water. Okay? So, and if I don't water the grass, then it goes from green grass to brown grass to what? Dead. To dead grass. Well, whose fault is that? It's the seed. You didn't give the seed what it needed to sustain life. So life and death is in the seed. Give it what it requires and you'll have life. Take away what it requires, and it only has a natural response to, to bring death. Sickness, disease, and early death. It's not that we live in a broken world. We just don't know how to live in a way to create green grass in our spirit, in our body, and in our mind. That's what I do as your doctor, is to get you, get the interference removed. I know you're creating God's image. I know he needed you together in your mother's womb. I know what you're going through right now it doesn't have to be there. But where do we have to find the kink in the hose? Because if I turn the water back on, the brown grass, what's the seed do to the grass? It makes it what? Green. Heal. That's how you are. That's how you're made. And that, again, that's biblical promises, that ancient wisdom, that's clean science, that's in every medical textbook. Your nervous system runs everything, right? I'm just in alignment with all that now trying to apply it. So if we give the grass seed what it needs, it has no problem doing what God created to do. It just needs time to do it, right? So that's where we're at. So green grass, brown grass, dead grass. Green grass is God's plans for your life. That means your body's making health. It's making, it's, it, it's, it's making your life on purpose. There's no need for medication shots of surgery because you're green grass. Brown grass means something's wrong. You're in pain. You're in and out of hospitals. You're underliving your life, right? That looks like infertility, autism, ADHD, gut issues, headaches, cancer, Heart disease, diabetes, chronic pain, arthritis, depression, dementia, organ failure, obesity, cancer, grows in a body that's in brown grass. Your body's growing it. Your body's making it. You're not cursed. God doesn't make junk. Your body's growing. Now, for whatever reason, you may not know. See, here's the thing. I may not know what 2 plus 2 is. But I know it's not 5, and I know it's not 10, I know it's not 3, and I know it's not 1. So there's a lot of things I know to do. I may not have the exact answers for you, but I know what not to do. And as you eliminate that, your body begins to go to green grass. Okay? So, why am I doing hemp? Because hemp may, for some of you, not all of you, have a green grass effect to allow the brown grass to shut off, being made, remove the interference, and have a green grass effect in your body, in your mind, in your, in your emotions and what you do. So we have to study it. We have to look at it, right? Again, 
I'm not playing the nutrition game. Well, I heard uh, uh, medical marijuana is good for back pain, so I'm going to smoke and get rid of my back pain. That's no different than taking uh, Advil. You're using, when's a, when does a potato become a pill? When you use it to treat symptoms. I'm not talking about treating symptoms with, with, with hemp or CBD. I'm talking about getting your body healthy so that you go to green grass, your body heals itself, and now you may, may not need it anymore or use it to now stay green grass. Because once we get you watered and the grass goes green, what do we keep doing? We keep watering the grass, right? So that's what it's all about, okay? So, and here's the thing. I just did a whole workshop on, for mommies that the seed knows what to do for you when you're pregnant. If the baby comes out at five months, why is that a problem? Seed's not done growing you yet, right? Okay, so the seed has a plan to make you pregnant. The seed has a plan for you when you're an infant, how to take care of you. The seed has a plan for you when you're a toddler, a child, a preteen, a teen. And it, it, it needs no help, just no interference. Because the, all of these live in a war zone. All these are under the attack of toxins, trauma, and stinking thinking. And if you know how to live in a way to take care of these, then your children grow up to be green grass. Your pregnancy goes full term most times. Again, I'm not God. I don't play God. Sometimes it doesn't. You're supposed to be your mommy for five months. Now you've got a baby in heaven waiting for you. I don't have all the answers. But I do know how to remove toxins, trauma, and stinking thinking from your life so that you have the best chance to be green grass. Does that make sense? Okay. So the seed knows when you're in your 20s. The seed has a plan for you in your 30s. The seed knows what to do with you in your 50s. And the seed knows what to do with you in your 70s. It doesn't leave you or forsake you. It knows how to get you healthy and strong. It just can't have any interference. And traumas, toxins, and stinking thinking interfere, kink the hose on your nerve system. Okay? I'm going somewhere with this, I promise. This is your nerve system. You look at any medical textbook. Your nerve system is what, your, what God uses to grow your body in the womb, and it's what your God uses in, to, to keep you healthy, strong, green grass outside the womb. What makes us different we can take you from brown grass to green grass by working on your garden hose, which is your spine and nerve system. If you don't work on this, then you're limited in the effects that you're going to get from your nutrition, from your exercise, from everything else. The whole world, you have no problem getting a positive attitude, taking vitamins, eating ketogenic and fasting and detoxing. But why isn't the world any healthier? Because they're not taking care of their spine their nerve system like they're supposed to, which is from day one birth until the last breath they take. You need to keep this thing brushed and strong, just like your teeth, all right? Again, that's the approach we take. So your nerve system runs everything. Your nerve system is in charge of what your body does when you put the CBD inside of it. Your, body, your nerve system's in charge of what you do when you do push-ups, sit-ups, and all kinds of stuff. And if you've never got this x-rayed or taken care of and you're not working on getting it stronger, then that's where you start first. That's why you're brown grass. That's the hierarchy that gives us the miracles. We have to start here first because this is where all life and energy comes from, right? This is what runs everything. Every nerve controls hundreds if not thousands of, of functions inside your body. And if it's being pinched off, then that's why you're brown grass. Christopher Reeves is an example that I use. What did Christopher Reeves break? Some of you don't even know who Christopher Reeves is anymore, right? <laughs> it shows how old I am, right? So Christopher Reeves is riding his horse, falls off, and he breaks his neck to the point where everything from the neck now stops working. That's how powerful your garden hose or your nerve system is. You break it, you crush it, you hurt it just a little bit, and everything shuts down. Does that make sense? So his heart's not working right, his lungs aren't working right, his legs don't work any right, but what did he do? He fell off and broke his garden hose. That's how powerful your nerve system is. Had he broken his arm, he'd be out, still be an actor probably today. If he broke his leg, he'd still be, but he broke his garden hose, he broke his spine, and he immediately went from green grass to brown grass to dead grass. So now what do we need to do for Christopher Reeves if we want to get him back to this situation? Do we change his diet? Not a bad idea, but that's not the problem. Do we give him vitamins? Maybe. Do we pray? We got to fix this first because that's what he broke, right? So if you're in brown grass, this is what's broken first. 
Once you get this going, then this may now have a benefit for you. Okay? But trying to take this or anything else or do anything else and not address this is going to limit your success. You may or may not get back to that full abundant life because you're bypassing one of the essentials, which is your nerve system that made you in the womb to begin with. Does that make sense? And again, I'm not saying this because I'm a chiropractor. I'm saying this because ancient wisdom, the Bible, clean science, all agrees that, yeah, if I'm walking like this, I'm much healthy. If my spine gets like this, then I'm headed to the nursing home. It's right there. Why? Because this makes me brown grass, and if I don't fix it, I go to dead grass. And I can take as many vitamins as I want, and it's not going to... I mean, how many, how many Advil do I need to take to change my spine? How, many, how much broccoli do I need to eat to change my spine? So I'm not against it. I'm just simply saying, if you're not doing something on a daily basis, a weekly basis, to prevent this and ensure this, can you see how we're missing the boat? Okay? All right. Good. Now that's just introduction. Now I'm going to get started. Three T's. Trauma, toxin, stinking thinking, especially traumas to your nerve system first, is why we're brown grass. We start here first, and then as you're doing this, then now what's next? What else can you be doing? Well, are you drinking out of the dog bowl? Stop, if you are, okay? I'm drinking four packs of, I'm, drink, I'm drinking four packs of cigarettes. I'm still, <laughs> I'm smoking, that's toxic. I'm drinking soda pop, that's toxic. I'm eating sugar, that's toxic. So can I, see, can I keep eating McDonald's and just start taking this stuff and get better? This is not to clean up your sloppy lifestyle. There's a lot of things you could be doing on your own and not have to take this. Okay? But if the bear's chasing you and you can't stop thinking about the bear, no matter what it is, this may have a pro have after you're doing all these other things too. So, and again, back to the Bible, my personal health philosophy. Genesis 3, 9 says, everything, keyword everything, everything that lives and moves about will be food for you just as I gave you green plants, I now give you everything. That's a promise. God says everything. So if you're a hunter, you're like, yeah, everything, right? Genesis 129, God said, I give you every seed-bearing plant. Again, there's no genetically modified stuff in this office. Why? Because there's no seed. There's no seed. There's no life. I don't care what it looks like or what it tastes like. It's not food. Okay? Got to read your labels. The whole earth and every tree that has fruit and seed in it. They'll be yours for food. So is God against hemp plants? No. Can we abuse it? Yes. Is God against fire? No. A little bit keeps you warm. A lot of it burns your house down and burns you up. So it all depends. Are we using what he's given us responsibly, respectfully, and in a line with how he gave it to us? Okay. Genesis 1, 11, 12. Then God said, let the land produce vegetation, seed-bearing plants, and trees in the land that bear fruit with seed in it according to their various kinds. And it was so. Land, and he spoke this, by the way. He spoke it, right? So shalom, speak it. Speak life, right? Uh, and so the land produced vegetation, plants bearing seed according to their kind, and trees bearing fruit with seed in their according. And God saw that it was good. In the Bible, there's food he says don't touch. But in the plants, he's like, go for it, right? Okay, so it's all in there. Dr. Bruce Lipton, he's my source about when we talk about how you can have epigenetics where your genes don't have to make you sick, you actually can get healthy. When you're brown grass, if you have bad genes in your body or you're brown grass, as I say, well, you have genes, that's why you're sick. It's your mother's grandmother, you have that bad gene. Not necessarily. Yes, you have it, but it's being released and it's destroying your health because you're brown grass, you're unhealthy. Bruce Lipton, Dr. Bruce Lipton, medical doctor, says no. When you change your lifestyle, metaphorically, and get it to green grass, then those bad genes shut off, the good genes turn on, and now you have epigenetically have changed your future. So your genes don't have to keep making you sick, right? And here's the problem, though. He, it, Bruce Lipton talks about that when we're in a state of being, fosters growth is called love. It's hard to heal when you're, half of you are in love and the other half you has a bear chasing you. And you're like, ah, you like you got one foot on the brake and one foot on the gas. And you're just doing this. You're trying really hard, but he even, he even agrees 
that when we are in a state of unresolved fear, we cannot heal and regenerate or be well. So that's where I think this product, the hemp, the CBD, comes in to possibly have a green grass effect for you. Okay? Because I can talk to you till I'm blue in the face. <laughs> you know, especially if any of you have daughters. I love my daughters, but I'm just like, I'm, I'm at 53 years old. I, I just have learned just to not say much anymore. <laughs> at least not to them. They've heard it all. They've watched the videos. And I just listen. I go, hmm, yeah, I'm sorry. And they just talk. My wife taught me this. And, but the thing is, is that they're in a state of unresolved fear. They cannot heal it. They can't be well. And it's like, I just have to wait till they get to that solution. And then I remind them, you know, that's not how really I see you. That's not really true. You know, shalom means this. You might want, you know. And so I'm learning. I'm not very good at it. Okay, but... That's where it's at. So now let's get to hemp finally, four hours later, right? So what is hemp? Well, first of all, does it line up with my personal philosophy? How long has it been around? Well, they say 12,000 years they've been growing it. Okay, check. It's been around a long time. It's not genetically modified. It's not something new, kind of new version of whatever. Hemp's been around for a long time, right? And again, I am not an expert. Like I said, I've got patients, no names mentioned. They could teach all day on this how to grow it in their closet, and how to make it, and how to wear all kinds of stuff with it, right? I can't. Never have, okay? Except for Aerosmith back in 19, no. But my point is that it's been around a long time, right? And even Thomas Jefferson and George Washington and Ben Franklin grew hemp back in 1619. It was required to grow hemp. You had a hemp quota you had to fulfill. To make a long talk even longer, I'm really big into conspiracy theory stuff. I'm kidding. But there's lots of industries out there that got, let me say it this way. There's a lot of people that profited you from you not believing in the law of gravity and made laws that you would have to not believe in the law of gravity. Even though it was bad, good for them and bad for you, that's kind of how the game is played. What do I mean by that? If you, if you read hemp history, the cotton growers got mad at the hemp growers and passed laws to make cotton grow and make hemp illegal. It's even like that with the, for the banana industry. That's a whole other video thing. And I don't go looking for this stuff. It kind of just finds me. So I see patterns. Like we just, pat, we just ducked a law. We ducked a law being passed that was going to force us to vaccinate our children. Again, I'm not saying to or not to vaccinate, but don't force me as an American to do something. Give me an exemption. Give me the right to choose what's best. If I want to smoke, I can smoke. If I don't want to smoke, I don't. But so as your doctor developing this personal health philosophy, I've seen a history of people stepping in in various industries, industries all around the world, bullying their way into profits. Does that make sense? Is that a better way to say it? So... I saw them doing that to the hemp industry. I go, well, it must be good because <laughs> I, what they are doing to naturopathic and chiropractic and now medicine and the bananas for Pete's sakes and agriculture and genetically modified, there you see a pattern of principle in every area. There, my conspiracy talk is over with. So to me, when I saw them doing that, I'm like, there must be some truth here because a lot of people are shutting it down and want to profit elsewhere, okay? But I also know from Dr. Peter Bregan, MD, psych, uh, psychologist, that there's also this thing called the drugs uh, protective effect, like my precious. So people will talk about why, oh, no, no, my Prozac is good for me. I, I, I will die. They, they have a defending protective effect over their drug. Oh, I need that meth. I need that cocaine. I need that marijuana. I need that, I need, I need that alcohol. So now they develop a psychosis of protecting their drug. So I understand that too. So I'm like, okay, is all this stuff on hemp and CBD written by a bunch of pot smokers who want to protect their crop? Oh, there, I just said it, okay? <laughs> and so, I, again, I had to filter through a lot. I mean, I don't, listen, it took a long time to simply just do this. My kids know that. I don't just throw stuff out there. But again, if it was good for Ben and Tom and George and they, it was back there, you know, then, then I'm starting to go, okay. And so, and here's the thing. Everybody's doing it now, Mom. 
So it's experiencing four times the velocity of vitamins and minerals. It's growing, right? Patients are now searching for quality organic CBD, but their access to it is low. That's the problem. Your access to getting good quality products that are gonna make you green grass is low. Because now, as man takes a good idea and then cuts corners and genetically modifies it and puts synthetics in it, and they say, oh no, this is THC-free CBD. This is better than what nature can make. You don't know any difference. You've never been tested to see whether it's even gonna help you or not, and then you're on it. And the placebo effect, sometimes, okay, you know, it does work, but sometimes it doesn't, or it doesn't, it may give you the results for 90 days and then it doesn't anymore. Well, then they just say, well, just keep taking more or take a stronger dose. And yet now you develop a tolerance and it's not there. So I realize that, okay? And yes, everybody is doing it. Google says that the CBD world, the hemp world is growing. But here's the thing, just because everybody's doing it doesn't necessarily tell me as your doctor that you need it. Ask your doctor, blah, 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 is right for you. Yeah, but I have ways of testing. And is it weird? It might seem weird to some. Is it scientific? Well, we get, patient testimonies tell me it's working. My daughter has only had five seizures in the last 10 years. So testimonies, it every tells me it's working, right? How we apply it. It may be different. It may seem weird when I do muscle testing or check your legs, but the proof is in the pudding, put it that way, okay? The proof is in the pudding. So even though everybody's doing it, it may not mean it's right for you, but yet you owe it to yourself if you're trying to remove the t trauma and the toxins and the stinking thinking and the war zone you're having to get you to green grass life and out of brown grass life, then you need to look at this and let us work with you and help test you. And so what is the difference, Dr. Arve, between tetrahydrocannabinol versus just cannabinoid, okay, the THC versus the CBD? Well, they're both, pro and again, this gets really confusing. THC and CBD are both products from the cannabis plant, okay? The difference is that CBD doesn't get you high. It doesn't have the same THC effect. Now, from what I'm learning, forgive me, parents, getting high is not necessarily a bad thing. <laughs> they say that the THC has psychoactric, psychoactric uh, euphoric properties. Is it possible that you're so afraid of the bear that in a controlled environment under medical supervision, becoming euphoric for five minutes, make it everywhere else, maybe, you know, you ever have that person that tries to quit smoking? You're like, go back to smoking. <laughs> we liked you better when you smoked. <laughs> maybe, and again, I don't do, I don't subscribe to that, but maybe possibly <laughs> that, you're a nicer person if you're high. <laughs> maybe not healthier, maybe not brown, maybe not green grass, but I'm saying that as I learn this and as they apply it, you'll hear this in a minute in a video. But here's the thing, CBD, like we have here, doesn't get you high. It may be useful for people. It may have a green grass effect if you're dealing with Alzheimer's, bone degeneration, seizures, neurodegenerative disorders, tumors, glaucoma, arthritis, or vomiting and nausea. Is it as toxic as Prozac, Advil, uh, whatever else I can't think of right now? No, so it's a less toxic choice. So again, I'm all for that too, if your body can use it, okay? Everybody is a combination lock. Everybody say combination lock, okay? So you all have numbers. Why do I do the muscle testing? Because I don't know if what I give you is going to help you. I need to find out what your particular combination is to unlock. That's how I figure what to adjust, what not to adjust, how to adjust it on your spine. That's how I figure out what nutritional product you need or don't need. The bottle may say three, take three a day. What if you only need one a day? What if you take three a day? Now you're, now you're putting toxins of a good thing into your body, so too much like fire can be a bad thing for you, right? You have to know if I'm gonna be responsible for your health and healing happiness, that's why we do the applied kinesiology, to know the dosages. The bottle may say take two a day. You may need five a day. You may need one a day. How do we know? We know that for the next 60 days, if we do the applied kinesiology testing, we're pretty safe. We're gonna get really good results, let's put it that way, over the next 60 days, and then we retest you. So whether it's this stuff or whatever it is, we wanna know. We do know that if you take just the regular THC, the cannabis, that it does get you high. It will decrease motivation, 
cognitive ability, neuro, neuronal connectivity, and creativity. And it can increase in breast cancer, testicular cancer, and anxiety. So that's not a good plan. That's not a good plan. But here's the thing. If it has a, psych, if it has a psychoactive process, then can it unlock the brain in a way to where the bear's not chasing me and now I possibly can take a break and work on getting healthy. Establish a new pattern, a new normal in my life. Possibly. Possibly. And so, let's watch this video real quick and then we'll finish up here. Hey guys, Dr. Josh Axe here along with Dr. Jessica Knox and Dr. Rachel Knox. They're known as the Knox Stocks. And they're some of the world's leading experts in the endocannabinoid system and using both CBD and cannabinoid medicine. And real excited to have you guys here with me today. And so I wanted to ask you guys a few questions. Number one, what's the difference between CBD and THC and, and how they affect our bodies? Yeah. So CBD and THC both come from cannabis. They're actually made from the same precursor, but they're structured just a little bit differently. The biggest difference between the two is how psychoactive they are. THC, we all know, gives us the high that CBD does not. Um, I call uh, THC the intoxicating or euphorogenic uh, cannabinoid and CBD the non-intoxicating and non-euphorogenic cannabinoid. Um, that's the best way I can explain that yeah. sort of remarkable difference. Yeah, you know, one of the things that it kind of reminds me of too, I'd love for you to talk about how CBD and THC affect each other because one of the things I'm seeing, I'll give you an example about this, there are brands out there now that say no THC on their label. That doesn't actually seem like a good thing to me because I know that C having a little THC, even if it's a small amount, may affect the CBD and how it works. So what, what are your thoughts on how those two specific compounds affect one another? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're sort of getting at something that's really cool about plant medicine in general, and certainly about cannabis, which in the world of um, endocannabinology, we talk about as the entourage effect, which is that whole idea of the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Yeah. So, so THC and CBD do work together to have a, a better and um, more effectiveness yes, together. Okay. So one thing that, that is very useful to know about CBD and THC is CBD actually can sort of moderate some of the euphoric or intoxicating effects of THC. So when you use them in a certain ratio together, for new patients, we'll typically recommend 10 parts CBD to one part THC because what that will do is allow you to get the benefits of both, yeah. but CBD will knock out those sort of high effects of THC. Unwanted effects. Yeah. Some people can benefit from the euphoria. We forget that. And so THC can be very beneficial for those patients. You know, you know what this kind of reminds me of too, just as everybody watch an example, uh, the amount of coffee drinkers is very high for people. And <laughs> I don't know if anybody's ever drank a cup of coffee and they noticed they got a little jittery after drinking it versus sometimes you drink a cup and you're like, I just have this smooth, healthy energy. The reason is there's compounds of caffeine, but in organically grown plants, there's higher levels of a amino acid called theanine. And theanine actually sort of modulates and gives you sort of that calm energy. Um, but again, one of those things, if you are only doing caffeine with no theanine, you're gonna be jitter, it's gonna, right. it's not as good. And so a very similar thing there. And we know that in Ayurvedic medicine, Combining certain herbs like turmeric and black pepper mm -hmm. or using other things is really powerful. Um, what's really awesome about cannabinoid medicine is that we can get pretty precise by using common sense. Yeah. You know, starting with a high CBD, low THC product and changing that ratio over time in response to the user's experience. Um, you know, we can get really precise in natural medicine and it comes with listening to that patient. Well, I love this. This is great information. I know too, for everybody watching this is that, you know, this endocannabinoid system uh, medicine is really powerful. And we've got two of the world's leading experts on this. In fact, they train other doctors and physicians on how to use this. And I know that they're passionate about uh, helping people use this amazing herb. So uh, I want to say thank you guys for explaining this. It's really powerful stuff. And I uh, hope you all have a great day. So if you're really into this and you want to go the full route and have wisdom, then Google the KNOX, Medical Doctors, MD. They're taking the best of all of that and working together to help people um, far more than what I would understand. Um, yes, they have a two-year course that uh, I'm not jumping into right now because, again, my basis is that all that's good, but if we don't have your spine and the nerve system working like it's supposed to, 
then it's, it's a good idea. But again, if you want to Google more and make sure I'm not <clears throat> just pulling your leg on anything, they, they have it there, Josh. And I trust Josh. I trust Jordan. I trust who they talk with. I've looked at a lot of things. Um, I know how to sniff out stuff that ain't really like, all right, this is not going down the right road and how this works. And so far, everything smells pretty good so far, okay? But, but with that said, so this, this ECS, endocannabinoid system, you understand there's receptor sites. Everybody say receptor sites. Receptor. It's all about the receptors. If you've heard me teach about detoxing on a cellular level, we have to feed your body glutathione so that your cells can release those garage doors, those receptor sites, instead of your cells being constipated and not doing their job and causing brain fog, weight loss resistance, insulin issues, leptin issues, ghrelin, hormone issues, that we have to detox because you're toxic from heavy metals, mercury in your mouth, biotoxins, Lyme disease, all those areas hit your cells, they make them toxic, constipate if you would, and the only way you can release that is by giving the body what it needs, glutathione, in a way that works, and then taking it out, so the glutathione dumps the cells, the, the, the dumps the toxins, toxins go into your gut, and you poop them out in the morning. So you see our detox system, you take it in the morning to detox, and then you take a nighttime product that helps your body with activated charcoal, take it out. So we realize that receptor sites and getting healthy is important, right? So if you have receptor sites shutting down because you're stressed out, because the bear's chasing you, it's the same thing. You can't heal until your receptor sites are opened and are released, okay? So what can shut down, or what can you feel, or what can go to brown grass if your receptors shut down due to stress, due to this endocannabinoid system. Now here's the thing, they'll say, well we just discovered that six years ago. They may have discovered it six years ago, but God discovered it thousands of years ago. Hemp's been around thousands of years. They've noticed in ancient Chinese medicine when they did things with this hemp plant that it had healing benefits. Why? Because even though we found out about it six years ago maybe, it's been around forever. Check on my personal health philosophy as far as it being right. Okay, it's been around forever. Just, 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 just because Christopher Columbus might have discovered America in, eight, in 19, no, not 19, 16, 1642, right? 1492, 1492, right? Public education. Well, America was there a lot longer before that. Just waiting for it to be discovered, right? 1492, sorry, Mom, sorry, Dad. So you have different receptor sites. You have what's called CB1, which goes to your brain, your vascular system, your, co uh, your vascular system, your lungs, your liver, reproductive organs, your pancreas, right, and your muscles. So could those areas, could those receptor sites be brown grass because you're stressed out or other things going on? Yes. And then now when you feed your body something that helps release those receptor sites, could those organs or systems now go to green grass? Yes. Does this make any sense? We're not treating symptoms. I'm not treating your Alzheimer's or dementia or I'm not treating your cancer. But if that brown grass is growing because those receptor sites are, are broken and I do something to make those receptor sites healthy, then your body's going to go to green grass and that process may begin to get better. Does that make sense? Versus just treating a symptom with hemp oil. There's a whole process to it, right? So we know that there's CB1 and CB2 receptors, right? And so... CB1 receptors are typically found in the nerve system. Oh, I love that because then I know when I adjust you, that turns on the power of your nerve system. It makes all this stuff work even better because it all comes from the nerve system. The brain tells the brain's what tells the receptor sites to shut down due to stress, and the brain what will tell the receptor sites to turn on when it's stimulated safely in a in a green grass way. That's key. That's key. Okay, CB2 receptors are a huge part of the immune system. These receptors have a hand in regulating pain and other immune responses. So the CB1 receptors and the CB2 receptors connect to a lot of parts of our bodies that are in brown grass. And that's not necessarily an area that I've been able to address because I don't have, and none of my products have CBD or THC in it. <laughs> so I have not been able to address that area of brown grass. And I've seen that in people. 
and we pray over them, we adjust them, we feed them right. They're doing everything good enough, but still the bear's chasing them. Does that make sense how I explain? Yeah. So, overview of CBD, again, it's been used for thousands of years. All right? The, what's different is CBD does not induce an intoxicating effect, right? Cannab cannabinoid mimics compounds in the body called endogenous inside cannabinoids, that's what we just showed you, that, res that, that respond with the receptors that make up the endocannabinoid system. A recently discovered, no, well, it's been, we've, God's known about it forever. I used to say, I may not know the name of every wire in this ceiling. All I care about is when I hit that switch, the lights come on, right? So we may not know why this stuff's been working for the last eight to 12,000 years. We just know it's there. And oh, now we discovered it. Now it must be true. See, that's another thing I've realized that I'm not waiting for Facebook or Instagram or Google to tell me I'm right. All I know is what we do in this office produces results. And it's funny, Dr. Joe, have you ever heard of paleo? Yeah, I've been teaching that for 20 years. What about intermittent fasting? Yeah, stop eating at 6 and don't eat anything else until six, 6 in the morning. Yeah, that's intermittent fasting. So we've been teaching this stuff forever. Now they give it a new name and make it cool, right? But we've been teaching it forever. So again, now here's the thing. Jordan Rubin, oops, green grass. Jordan Rubin is a visionary and saw that this is something that people are going to need, just like everything else. So he has a farm in Missouri, and he's done it legally, and he's done it the right way. So that when you look on every product in this bottle, you're going to see that it's USDA organic certified. There is, there's, it's grown in America, and there's no GMO with it. And that's important because now you're getting something made by nature, made by God, that's going to have a, 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 a healing effect inside your body. Again, we're a combination lock. If I have an apple made natural, organic, like it's supposed to, and I have a genetically modified apple in this hand, they both look the same. Don't blurt out the answer, but which one's better for you? Now, if you're like, well, they're an apple, what's the difference? Welcome to the matrix. <laughs> <laughs> the genetically modified one never had a seed. Eh, biblical wisdom, no good. Made by man, sprayed by man, but it looks really red. And guess what? It'll last in King Supers two months longer <laughs> than that one, right? Now, here's the thing. You can't, repeat after me, you can't yeah. fool the seed. You can't. If, 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 if I put water in my gas tank, that dial may go to full, but you can't fool the engine. <laughs> okay? So when I eat that organic apple, my brain knows food. I can use this to make green grass. The minute I eat the genetically modified apple, not food, and now I'm making brown grass. That's why it's important that whatever you put in your mouth, vitamin, food, drink, it, is it, it's either going to make green grass or it's going to make brown grass. And the world's spending billions of dollars to get you to drink stuff that's going to make brown grass, but you'll buy it. Why do they sell it to me? Because you'll buy it, Diet Coke, right? So I'm just here trying to be the, the bear of saying, this may not have a green grass effect on you. This, so, so would it be nice to know whether... If they both look the same, which one your body's going to use? That's what muscle testing is. It's asking your body which one your body's going to, and it will tell you. Well, that's not very scientific. No, it's very scientific. This is called applied kinesiology. It's called quantum right brain, left brain. All of you have done it who play golf because you go to the golf course, they put some band on your arm that makes you stronger and promise you your golf shot's going to go farther. <laughs> so you all got those bands on, right? So I digress. So it's important in how they make the stuff and how they process it. If I take organic broccoli, and I do all my research on organic broccoli, but then I shove it in the microwave for eight hours, what comes out? Not organic broccoli. But all your friends want you to read all the research on what went, what went in before the microwave. So get, it's real simple. If you bring me that eight hour broccoli and I, I test you with it, your body's gonna say, I don't want that. You go weak. It has a negative charge. It's dead. It's not food. It's junk food. And your body will tell you. If it's, if it's the organic stuff, your body wants it, it'll make your body strong. It has a positive electrical charge to it. It'll make your body strong. 
and you'll react strong to it. That's how it works. If it's dead, it's negative, right? You can eat it, but it's going to have a negative effect in your body. And I don't care if it's a vitamin or whatever it is. The other thing, too, what if, what if it's good product, made the right way, but it doesn't unlock your combination? Then you don't need it. When you come get muscle testing patients, you don't take everything I, everything I have. Some of you want to, but I don't let you. You only need this. Why? Because that's what your body can handle to unlock healing right now. Okay? That's kind of, so it really does matter. So everything that we, that we have as far as the, the organic hemp, it's not synthesized, no pesticides. It's not microwave ir irradiated. There's no synthesized fertilizers. It's not genetically engineered. And there's no sewage sludge in it. And that matters. Therefore, it makes it USDA organically certified. We're not just growing this stuff in our back closet or our backyard. This is made the best, because from what I read with hemp plants, they say, and again, don't quote me on all of it, but they say a two-acre plot of hemp will do more for the environment in the ozone than, like, has, it has regenerative healing properties. It has kingdom properties. Right? I can see why man's against it, because it, it, it brings in how God wants things to be, right? So, but this is how they make food nowadays. And so my point is that, is that th it's important that what I give you and what I test you with is, is good stuff for you that has a green grass effect. That's all I'm trying to say. And again, they talk about how they use USDA certified organic farms, then USDA certified organic extractions, then USDA certified organic packaging facilities. All this is top of the line stuff to bring you the best product that's going to have a green grass effect in your body. Then certified organic farms, organic fermentation. They ferment when they use the different herbs to add to the CBD so that the fermentation has a better absorption rate inside your tummy, inside your belly. So you get it adjusted, nerve system power is turned on. Now you put this in the body. The brain can recognize what to do with it. And now it makes green grass. Does that make sense? Why? I mean, there, there's a means to our madness. And there's steps you have to follow. You just can't put anything you want in the cake pan and expect a cake. You have to know the recipe if you want the right kind of cake, right? And so, again, when you do hemp, again, whether it's us or somebody else, you want what's called full-spectrum CBD. You don't want the THC-free TH -free CBD. It means it's been overcooked. It's overprocessed. They had to do something to it, unnatural, to take the THC out. Therefore, when you put it in your body, your brain goes, I don't know what to do with this. I know what to do with the other stuff, but I don't know what to do with this. So you don't get the same green grass effect, right? So full spectrum is what we want to have in our CBD. It offers whole plant nutrition through, through CO2 extraction. Think of coffee. I have decaf coffee. Well, how was it? It didn't come off the plant decaffeinated. So what did you do to the coffee to make it decaffeinated? Well, we sprayed it with pesticides. That's not going to have a green grass effect in your body. Well, we use Swiss filtered water processing. Okay, that will have a green grass effect. That's fine. Okay, fine. But it's not, I think of THC the same as the caffeine. Like he said, if it's done right, it's not going to make you jittery and make you freak out, okay? But, it, but also not just with, when you want the whole plant, full spectrum, you want, it has CBD, but it also has CBN, CBC, CBG, THC and terpenes. These are all have a compound effect so that when you put it in your body, it goes to all the receptor sites that are sick and helps make them healthy green grass again. It's, a, it's an army effect. It's a compounding effect. Um, it's called an entourage effect. We used to think, well, instead of eating an orange, just take a pill of vitamin C. It's just as good. Well, then why did God even make an orange? He just made all these kind of little capsules. We had to pick them up like man on the ground, right? No, eating the whole orange has a full spectrum. Of, there's vitamin K, there's vitamin C, there's all kinds of stuff in there, right? Well, the same thing here. When you take the full plant, hemp plant, then you have an entourage effect that, that is compounding so you get a, a hundredfold increase in your return as far as health and healing. Again, when I water the grass, which part of the yard gets green? All of it, right? That's the good news. Not just one part, but all of it. When I make an adjustment, what part of your body gets better? All of it, spiritually, body, mind, all that changes because your nerve system runs all of that, okay? If you look for the THC-free CBD, it contains no THC, but an awful they've had to highly process it, overcook it to get it there, and it may not have an entourage effect, so therefore the effect is limited. The price doesn't change, but the effect might for you, okay? 
So again, CBD oils, again, there's a specific process that they follow. It's just not somebody in their backyard cutting this stuff and put it in the capsules for you, okay? And again, same thing with ancient nutrition, CBD powers and capsules. There's a certain process they take so that you get the best product that's going to have a green grass effect. And then when we take it one step further through the nutrition, the applied kinesiology, now we're dialing into specifically what you need and what you don't need and how much you need of it and how much you don't need of it, okay? And again, again, personal health philosophy, my friend Dr. Josh, hemp is utilized in traditional Chinese herbalism and Ayurvedic tradition. How long has that been around? A few years? Long time. Longer than medicine, right? So, A, it's, if it's still around, it still works. Traditional Chinese herbalism, practitioners recommend hemp. Hemp was often mixed with other herbs for amplified effects. That's our whole point. We can make it better, okay? So again, does it go with universal laws? Yes. Is it Bible promises? Yes. Clean science? Yes. Ancient wisdom? Yes. So it checks out for me to now even do a talk or a workshop on this stuff. Okay? Is the oil that they sell, is that to be ingested or... I'm getting there. <laughs> the gerbil is running fast right now. So, and on top of that, the why, reason why we have Diana here with, is that there are certain things that you can do in, a, in the name of essential oils that are mixed with the oils that have a even better receptor site boost. It's all about tickling the receptors, making them happy to make you happy. Okay? That's what it's about. When we have to detox, you have to hit the receptor sites to kick the junk out. With, with the rosemary and, and lang lang and cinnamon and black pepper extract and lavender and clove, which he has over there, that's why a lot of the essential oils work, whether you understand it or not, because it has a positive receptor site, green grass effect on you. Okay? Whether you smell it, whether you rub it on, whether you put it on your tongue. Okay? So, so Dr. Jordan, Jordan Rubin and Dr. Josh know this, so now they're going to add that to the CBD, some of the products, to even get an amplified effect, an entourage effect. And then there's also superfoods that affect the endocannabinoid system, right? So you have echinacea, cocoa, truffles. Help me out again. Thank you. Omega fats, holy basil, copa bahia, maca, and kava. Okay. Helichrysum. Um, but all these. So, and these have been around for thousands of years. And they even say the spices in the food are what brings the healing, not necessarily the food. So when you add this to boost your ECS, your endocannabinoid system, man, now you're dealing with the war zone you're living in. Now you're doing something about the toxins, trauma, and stinking thinking. Now you're doing something to moving your life out of brown grass and into green grass, which is all we really want anyways. Does that, does that make sense so far? Okay. So today, everybody say very limited. Because I don't know if you guys are going to throw rocks at me. Dr. Harvey's a Christian. He's talking about pot smoking now. What's going on here? <laughs> So I asked a few of you, is it okay I talk about this? They're like, yes, thank you. We've been waiting. Am I like, good? Okay. And I've had mommies to everybody else. So I ordered some, and the order got messed up. Okay? So I've got four, what? Oh, they came in? Oh, by the grace of God, look at that. <laughs> While I was speaking, the holy angels went to UPS. <laughs> no, really? You know, we've had, I want to tell you about the last six weeks we've had, but that's a good sign. My wife and I bought a hot tub, and all of a sudden she saw it for $1,000 cheaper at Costco. She called them up, and they're like, well, no, well, no, and the last person said, yeah. So we have a cart for $1,000 sent to us from Costco. I'm like, woo, yes, amen, thank you, Lord. So like, now, now, the, now it came in. So now, we still have limited supply, but here's what we got. I've got four of these. I can order more. Okay? I've got 24 of cinnamon flavored CBD hemp oil. And I've got 25, I think, if we count it right, 25, unflavored. I still don't know what you need. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish up here in a minute. And I will stay after. And I will test each of you who want to get tested. I have limited supply. It's 10% off today. Okay? 10% off any of the hemp products. Right? If, you need, if you're out of our ML products, if you buy four or less, you get 10% off. If you buy five or more, you get 15% off. Just the white bottles there. If you're watching online and you're just like, I want this, message me 
and we'll figure out a way to get it shipped to you. Okay, right now there's no link online presence because uh, this is all new. So this is the tea you had, the, sip, the sipping on, the chai tea. Some of you may not need this. Some of you may need to get the hemp this way. Some of you may be allergic to cinnamon bark like my sister-in-law and needs it in the unflavored or in the uh, golden chai version. Again, it's still different, but I have it available if your body will make green grass out of it. I, again, I, this, is, this is, so even if they botched the processing and it was crap and they lied to me, if I muscle test you, your body's gonna say, I don't want this. And I'm gonna say, Josh, my, none of my patients this tested well. How do I know if this stuff's good? Because everybody tests well on it. If it stopped testing well, then I know they stopped making it the right way, and I know real quick, and we quit selling it, and then, then we, so that way we know what's going on. It's like, it's like, how do I know when I give my daughter that food, she's gonna have a seizure or not? The body will tell me. That's why we apply it, okay? So, organic hemp. It just now came in, hot off the presses. Again, it's just full spectrum CBD organic hemp mixed with MCT oil made from coconut. It's organic, it's pure, it's natural. Again, it just has those two ingredients, okay? You, what you do is you take it, and I will, when I test you, you, on the dropper, thank you, keep me on track here. It has, it has, on the dropper, it has 25 milligrams, 50 milligrams, 75 milligrams, one milligram, full dropper. When I test you, when we're done here, I will tell you, you can do the flavored, unflavored, or the, hemp if you get the oil if your body wants the oil I'll tell you to do for the first bottle either 25 milligrams 50 or 75 or do the whole dropper each day and then when the bottle's done we'll retest you see what you need okay again it's specific again it may be weird but it works okay is it applied externally though no I'm sorry you open your mouth and you go <coughs> like that okay sorry let's try to figure that out now if you taste it and go oh I'm gonna throw up you can mix it with other things. Put it in a tea, put it in with hot water, sip on it. You can get it in that. You can, you can mix it, okay? Yes? Put it in a protein I don't know how. Yes, you could. I'm not sure what the taste would be. With this, with you, if you had a sample want a sample afterwards, we did it with hot water and with almond milk. Uh, my sister-in-law tried to do it just with cold water. It didn't mix very well. You had to put it in a shaky cup and shake it up pretty good. But it mixes well with that. Yes, yes. So that's the unflavored organic hemp, just organic and MCT oil. And again, um, I had an option to buy 10 milligram dosages, 20 milligram dosages, or 40 milligram dosages, and I felt through that 20 is a good enough. So if you needed more, you could take more. If you didn't need as much, you could take less. And the price, and the price break point breaks. And it's $79.95 today, 10% discount uh, for those who get it today. Is that like a 30-day supply, basically, on the I would think so. I would think so. Most, most companies want to give you a 30-day supply. I know when we get the capsules in, it's a 30 capsules, so one capsule a day. So, it's, so it should last you a month. It all depends on how hard you're hitting it, though. Okay? But again, if I test you and I say you only need 50 milliliters, don't take more because more is not better. More becomes toxic. Are they okay? coming out with a, a cream or lotion? No. Food? Not that I know of right now. So um, where am I at? Hemp. So this is the hemp. Now, to boost and amplify effect, there is an organic hemp that has um, the cinnamon bark extract, the turmeric root extract, black pepper extract, and the medium tri triglyceride coconut. So when you add this to it, it has an amplified effect. Some of you who, who want the cinnamon can do that. Again, same way. You put the dropper in your mouth, you're good once a day. Okay? And then we have the organic chai hemp. Now, yeah. Now, the, the CBD hemp golden chai helps alleviate effects of stress and tension, helps promote restful sleep, enhances feelings of emotional well-being, helps support functional and mobility, functional mobility, helps promote mental clarity and concentration. Why? Because, and again, so do the oils. Because when you put that in your body, your, again, it's not like I take an aspirin for a headache and the aspirin jumps to my head. Your brain, you put it in your mouth, the brain says, oh, I can use that here. I can use that there. That receptor site needs that. It's your brain still doing all that. That's why I say when you get adjusted, it becomes a faster highway to make that happen, and healing can happen faster. So when you sip the tea, this is the receptor site improvement that you're going to get and have a brown, green, brown grass to green grass effect. Now, coming in July, 
They say mid-June, but in English that means July. <laughs> and I don't, have, I don't have any order sheets for this. Um, from a minute, but, but it's coming, okay? As soon as it gets here, we'll put out order sheets. They have a product called CBD Hemp Relief and Comfort, right? It has andrographis, paniculata stem, and leaf extract. Again, it's specifically helping receptor sites that are shut down, causing healthy joint function and mobility. Temporary relief of occasional aches and pains. Promotes healthy inflammation response. Organic fermented ginger root. Again, helps the absorption of that and promotes a healthy inflammation response. Again, this is, it's a 30 day, 30 count caplet at 20 milligrams, 84.95, because it carries these relief and comfort herbs. So you got the turmeric, the cinnamon, the ginger, the long pepper, and the andrographis mixed with the CBD to help bring relief and comfort to your relief and comfort receptor sites. That's how it works. It stimulates them to make them happy, tickles them happy. Now we have Organic Camp Sound Sleep for sleep because you have receptor sites that are not happy that, are, that the, the brown grass effect is that you're not sleeping. See how I explain this, okay? So promote, now if you're drinking four pots of coffee a day and you're not, you're not that's why you're not sleeping. You don't need help necessarily. But this promotes a calm and relaxed state of mind. Again, it does have a psyche at psychoactive response. It helps the mind realize the bear's not there anymore. Take a break, take a nap, get some sleep, right? So it promotes calm and relaxed state of mind, helps promote more restful sleep, enhances feelings of emotional well-being, helps promote mental clarity and concentration. Why? Because again, it's the chemistry of life. We're all chemicals, right? If I take a sip of tequila, I'm happy. If I drink a half a bottle of tequila, I'm obnoxious. It's all about the chemicals, okay? So if I take a little bit of the CBD and THC, which I'll get to in a minute, I don't use. For, I'll tell you why in a minute. That may have a positive effect. If I take a lot of THC, again, it's all about stimulating the chemicals. So dementia, Alzheimer's, inflammation are all bodies brown grass chemical reactions to the three T's in the war zone you live in. So if I can find a chemical response that's more favorable by stimulating that, that's why we get sound sleep, okay? So CBD, valerian root, lavender uh, fermented so that it has a greater absorption rate inside your body. Another product we're gonna carry is called Stress Less. Again, calm and relaxed state of mind, helps the body cope with stress, helps alleviate effects of stress and tension, helps promote more restful sleep, enhances feelings of emotional well-being, boosts energy, and reduces fatigue, helps promote mental clarity and concentration. We were like, I'll take one for, I'll take all of them for 500, Jim, right? That's why we muscle test you to find out what you need. To find, you may not need all of them right now. You only may need one. You may not need any of them right now. I, that's what we need to know as your doctor, okay? But 8495, this is called for 30 day supply, okay? So stress less. And again, it has CBD, has rhodiola, cassandra berry, and I guess with cassandra berry, this ha it has a holistic effect on all the receptor sites inside your body, okay? Next is brain boost. Again, you know, some people, they, I don't know why they're losing this part here, but I can tell you if you live 30, 40 years in a toxic world, where they want to do flu shots and do all kinds of things, then the aluminum and the copper piping, and you live in a war zone, that has a direct attack effect on the brain. The fluoride, yeah, all that stuff. The toxic world. It attacks the brain. Again, John 10.10. 10. Devil comes still killing ah, because things attack that nerve system. The devil knows that. The nerve system is your highway to heaven. Or it's your highway to hell if it attacks it. So the brain boosts, again, calm, relaxed state, restful sleep, Feelings of emotional well-being, energy reduces fatigue, promotes mental clarity and concentration. Why? How? By tackling, tickling the receptor sites in the brain. It has the ginkgo in it. It has um, ashwanga. It's got the root and leaf. It's got fermented by, by copa. So it's got things to make the brain specifically release those receptor sites targeted to help make it green grass. So again, bacopa, ginkgo, and ashwanga. Say that fast three times. And again, the benefits of this is to take the kink off the hose, get your body going from brown grass to green grass. What's brown grass? A weak immune system. So let's support it and make it healthy. 
Inflammation, heart disease, cancer, all feeds off inflammation. So let's help that get better. Let's get rid of the mental stress. The bear's not chasing you. Healthy cognitive function. You got to be able to cognitive function. Think what's going on, right? Support cellular def de de deafness. Yeah. Can't hear. Yeah. Support your cell defense. Make Again, receptor sites are happy. They make you happy. Release occasional aches and pains, joint function mobility, because again, we can't make claims, but we can say when you eat this plant, these botanicals, it has a stimulating of the receptor sites, and you go from brown grass back to green grass. It's no different than if you, if, if you, if you get adjusted, you work out, you, you eat vegetables, things like that, okay? And so again, some questions as I wrap this up. Is it safe to use? Well, we don't know, again, they say, there's not known or expected to have any adverse effects on healthy users when taken as directed. That's why, again, if you're just going to take it and start dropping it and not get tested, I, I don't know what's going to do to you. It may sound good, but you may, body may not use it, right? It may give, give you bad diarrhea. I don't know, right? <laughs> Does CBD oil contain any psychoactive mind-altering effects? No, the CBD is not, they consider it non-psychoactive. But what, does THC have a psychoactive effect? Yes. What is that? It's healing the receptor sites in the brain because you think the bear's still chasing you. So yes, we want that. No different when you speak shalom over yourself. Does that have a psychoactive effect? Yes. Why? It gets you to calm down, realize nothing's broken, nothing's missing, nothing, nothing's lacking. What are the side effects of CBD? Hemp-derived CBD are few and generally mild. Okay. Define mild. I don't know. Everybody's different. Right? I adjust one person and they get a headache. That's part of the healing process. I adjust another person and they start crying. I don't know why. They're healing, right? They're healing. Okay? And then what other different ways you can ingest CBD? I still was getting your, your answer, Lori. You can do tinctures. You can do capsules. You can do sprays. You can do topical solutions. A person simply uses a dropper and place the drops under their tongue for a short time and then swallow. Oh, I thought about bringing Mrs. Ivy up and demonstrating, but... Time issues. Here's something I want you to understand, though. Will people pass drug tests while using ancient nutrition CBD products? I had, I had a patient go, hey, did you hear about those two grandmothers that got thrown in jail for using CBD? Oh, and I went, no, but let me look at that. And, I, and there was. A 69-year-old grandmother was trying to get into Disneyland. And the security guard, I guess, found her bottle for arthritis of CBD, had a note from her doctor about she can use this, and they cuffed her and threw her in jail. <laughs> so therefore, if you buy this from Dr. Harvey, does that mean you can take it through an airport safely? I, I don't know. I'll be honest with you, I don't know. We live in a weird world right now. It all depends on who you come across that day. I did read the article about the grandmother, and they were embarrassed. They apologized. They released her on no charges. And she's one mad mama right now. But so, so sometimes in this country, even when you're right, you're going to get treated wrong. So I don't know yet. It's new. Is this going to have a green grass effect on you? Yes. Would you really care if it works? No, you're not going to care. There's there places you need to know where you can go or not. Figure that out. I don't have all the answers on that, right? Um, but it says it contains the legal amount of 0 0.3, 0 0.3 THC, which According to the laws, you're fine, especially in Colorado. Okay. Uh, this is not expected to cause a test failure, but as with all medications and supplements, we suggest you advise your testing facility to, ahead of time to test preventive false. So if you're taking this and you're in a job where they're going to do drug testing, just let them know. I'm doing this under doctor recommendation. They're, I don't know. I don't live in that world. This is a new world for me. Personally, my sport is CrossFit. They, if I get really good at it, they're going to drug test me. THC is one of the banned substances. NFL, THC is a banned substance. Not in the NBA or not in the hockey, not in the baseball. So if I had a baseball player, he could take this. If I have a football player, he can't based on NFL's rules. Not based on what it does, right? And they're kind of mad about that. Because it's, it's not a performance enhancing drug. It's for, you know, no, you can take Prozac and Tylenol and Advil all you want, yeah. right? But you can't take this. Again, people over profit. So I will not be taking this because I do not want to potentially flunk a drug test if I've worked all my life to get to this certain point. 
Neither will Jesse because in the Olympics they do drug testing, right? So I don't know. Could you take this and pass the test just fine? Possibly. I don't know. It's up to you. So I can test you and figure out whether your body wants this or not. Does that mean you'll successfully pass a drug test? I don't know. But also there's lots of meds too that make you throw off a drug test as well too. You can eat a, a bagel with poppy seeds on it and you'll throw it off for opioids, right? So can I just be honest and tell you, I don't know. I personally will not be taking this because to me it's not worth the risk and I'm going to find other ways through essential oils to re relieve my receptor sites to get better and keep my man bun strong, okay? All right. So again, we're going to wrap this up. I'm sorry I did go over, of course, newsflash. Oh, you're like, we know, Dr. O. Um, I will stick around and if you want to get tested, basically we'll put the three products out there. You'll hang on to them. I'll look at them. We'll test you. It'll only take two seconds. I'll tell you what to order, what not to order, and how much to take. Okay? I'll do that for you. There's no charge. That's what I do for my patients, right? If you're not a patient, then we need to check your nerve system first. Yes, I'll test you for the CBD stuff, but the problem is, is that if we open your nerve system, you may not have to take as much and you may get a better effect. So what it basically is for an examination, for x-rays, just look at your spine, a few adjustments, it's $99 for an individual, $149 for a family. Please do it. All the healing you're looking for may occur just there. Then we'll test you, because I don't test my patients normally for any of this stuff until after two months of working on the nerve system. Because you may not need it. You may not need it. Okay? Again, you all have an order sheet. You can see what it costs, right? We'll test you with that. Okay? Again, this is, I just talked about that. Let us help you feel good again. Getting your spine checked. That's the first place we start as far as defending everything. So that understanding that we can be on a mission to put any end to any unnecessary suffering in your life. If you have any unnecessary suffering caused by trauma, toxins, thinking, thinking, because you live in a war zone. You can't say, well, I don't live in a war zone. I'm good. No, you live in a war zone. You're not good. Well, I'm fine. No, you're not fine. Look at all the statistics. We have more gyms, more hospitals, more Walgreens, and yet we got more cancer, heart disease, diabetes, suicide, school shootings, and, and all kinds of... You're not fine. We're going to stop going to the medical circle all the time, and now we're going to get green grass. If you want that, then I'm the doctor going to help you do that, okay? Otherwise, are there any further questions? Okay. So let's break. Let's shut the, the video camera off, and then we'll start muscle testing. Whoever wants to get checked, just, um, just sit in your chair if you want. If you, if you don't want to get tested, stand up, walk around, go look at stuff. If you want to get tested, I'm going to come around. I'll test you real quick, and we'll go from there.